Hi, my name is Danielle Griffin. I'm the Senior Project Architect with Plants Creative Landscape. Um, we're going to go over some um, frequently asked questions about lighting, outdoor lighting. So the first question is, what are the best lighting options for safety, like highlighting a walkway or stairs? Um, there are a lot of options for highlighting walkways and steps. Um, we use um, what we call wall lights or rail lights that can go underneath a wall cap set like this or we can use path light, like something like this. Um, this sticks in the ground, this end, and then this lights the pathway, um, which is a great option. Um, we can also use up lights, which can also be um, lighted towards a walkway or plant material along a walkway. Um, you can just direct this in different directions. There's a screw here that loosens and it can move up and down, um, and it can direct its way towards a walkway or a um, staircase. Um, the second question is, what are the best lighting options for highlighting a landscape focal point like a garden or water feature? Um, there are actually a lot of options for uplighting a um, water feature. There are actually underwater lights that you can put inside of the water feature in the basin that shoot up at the water. Um, there are actually water features that can go into a waterfall or sheer descent, which is something that spills over. It can actually be um, installed right under where the water is spilling out and it can shine on the water itself. There are lots of options where you can change the color of the, the light that comes out. Um, and also you can use something like this from the landscape that shoots out towards the light, uh, the water feature. So that, that can also provide a light source, um, which is really great for options for um, lighting up in the nighttime uh, waterfall. Um, the third question is, what bulbs should you use, halogen versus LED? Um, there are a lot of options out there now for LED. Halogen is something that was used solely in the past while LED was catching up with technology, but the technology for LED has really come a long way and the lighting is much softer. So you can still use your halogen. The difference between halogen and LED is that your um, LED lights can actually be um, more daisy chained, um, which is when you put a one light after another. Um, and basically, um, the halogen lights are between 10 and 15 watts, where a LED light is about 8 to 15 watts. The, the difference is really going to be that you um, are able to attach more on one strand of wire to go back to the transformer box. The fourth question is, what is the difference between uplighting and downlighting? Um, and it's pretty simple, but some people get it backwards. Uplighting is when you are shooting up. So the fixture is from below and it shoots up towards um, either the water feature or the structure or the plant material that you're trying to highlight in the nighttime landscape. And a downlight would be something that hangs from above and shoots um, light downward. Um, oftentimes you'll hear of a moonlight, which is something that we put high up in the trees and can actually highlight an entire area. Um, those are great. Um, and then also you can just have um, a light, like a can light that comes from a structure that can light a grill area or something to that effect. Number five, what is the best lighting technique for patios? Um, again, you really want to take a look at the whole space. Um, if it's an enclosed patio where there are walls, um, you can actually do house lighting, um, your regular electric lighting. So if you have carriage lights or something already on the house, that can help light your patio space. We often do what are called well lights or in-ground lights, where they're kind of like uh, round lights that can go into the patio itself that shoot up. But if you're going to have furniture, that may not be the most effective. So we can also, again, use an up light or a down light on the, the trees, either shooting down from the trees, a down light, or an up light shooting up towards a tree or towards the patio to help light the space. Um, moon lights are also a great option where they um, hang them high in the tree and it kind of casts an ambient light over the entire outdoor area. Um, and then number six, what would a lighting design look like? What lifestyle elements should be considered? Um, so a lighting design actually is a plan that has symbols on it that shows the different types of lights we're going to use for your installation. Either an up light, a down light, your path lights, um, your wall lights, any sort of lighting, sconces, that sort of thing. That will all be on your plan, so we'll show it in a plan view, so um, like an aerial view. 
Um, we take into account a lot of items with your lifestyle. Um, if you have children that are playing and um, outdoor space, you really want your landscaping or your lighting to be either up off of the ground or in a space that can kind of shine down. So maybe down lighting is more, um, more effective in that case. For instance, if you have kids that are going to be active play like soccer and that sort of thing on a field, you either want to use a moonlight or have the fixtures far enough away so that if the ball hits it, it's not going to damage. Now we do use really strong fixtures. They're not plastic. They're um, brass um, fittings and, and, and aluminum um, clad. So they're not going to break easily, but that would just limit the breaking. Um, also path lighting um, is very important in lighting walkways. Um, if you have um, people that have disabilities in your family, or if you are actually have elderly people that are also going to be using the space, more lighting is often suggested. Um, more frequent spacing and often um, we highlight the steps more um, effectively but overall those are just important things that we definitely have to add into your landscape lighting plan um, and then the other part is just um, making it look good making it looking really pretty um, you want to highlight the features of your landscape that are important to you and in, that includes trees um, fireplaces uh, fire pit areas, walls, um, possibly um, you might have a structural piece or a fountain. Those are all important pieces to your landscape plan that we would want to work into the lighting. Um, if you have any more questions, we'd love to work with you. Contact us at plantscreative.com. Thanks.